Hey, what's up guys, Steven here and welcome back to another charging speed test. Today we are comparing some really hot devices, including the Huawei Mate XS. This is the first time you are seeing a foldable smartphone in a battery charging test. So let's have a look at these devices. The Huawei Mate XS is the most expensive one, coming with a Huawei certified 65W supercharger. It has got Type-C to Type-C connection and a pretty thick cable as well. The Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro has a quite similar charger, also 65W rating. The Mi 10 non-pro version comes with a 30W charger. You may haven't heard about Vivo before, but the Vivo Nex 3 5G is a really good phone coming with a 44W charger. Close to that one we have the Huawei P40 Lite with 40W supercharging and then we have Apple's iPhone with a kinda slow 18W power delivery charger. So let's start this test and let's see which smartphone wins the battle. So ladies and gentlemen, we are kicking this off. We have now here in the middle the Huawei Mate XS, Huawei P40 Lite, the Xiaomi's, the Vivo, the iPhone. And now let's switch on the power and let's switch on the stopwatch and there we go. We are starting. Let's check out which phone is powering on first. So while all the phones are charging as you can see and Huawei the P40 Lite is the fastest one booting straight up from zero. Um, yeah, let's check out when the Mate XS will boot up. And there we go. So we're switching now on all of the phones as far as we can. So the Vivo is already booting. The Xiaomi is charging. The Xiaomi Mi um, 10 is also charging, not booting up yet. And well, oh yeah, they're booting up right now. And the iPhone, well, the iPhone is an iPhone. It's still showing the charging symbol. Alrighty, guys, so let's turn all of them on and then let's see how far they got after five minutes. Now, from looking at the specs of the batteries and the chargers and doing simple math, you would actually expect that the Huawei Mate XS or the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro will win the battle. And that's a good guess. But interestingly, until 50%, the Vivo Nex with its lower 44W charger was taking the lead. It has the same battery size as the Huawei Mate XS and the Mi 10 Pro, but was charging way faster. After just 22 minutes, the phone reached the 50% level and that's incredible. Seriously, the closest one at this time was the Mi 10 Pro with 43%. Then until 45 minutes, it lost a bit of headroom to the Mate XS, which was at 84%, only 1% slower than the Vivo. You also need to keep in mind the devices would charge faster with the display off. But most people continue to use the phones while they are charging it, so I left the displays on. And the huge 8 inch display of the Mate XS for sure drains the battery more. But since all the displays are on, it's still a quite accurate test. The first phone that reached 100% was the Mi 10 Pro with just 66 minutes. The Mate got in second place all along with the Vivo at 69 minutes. Some very good charging times here. You definitely notice the slower charging speed on the Mi 10 compared to the Mi 10 Pro and the Mi 10 finished with 89 minutes. The Huawei P40 Lite with its upgraded supercharger finished at 92 minutes. I actually thought it will be faster, but it's also running a better software and it's a pre-production sample. Then only the iPhone was left and oh boy, it's so weird. The iPhone gets really stuck after it reaches around 80%. And then it took it from 80% to 100% for around one hour. Apple is doing that to prevent degrading the battery, which makes sense. But batteries nowadays have evolved a lot and I actually prefer faster charging because changing a phone battery after like two years is not expensive even on the iPhone and it saves so much time. But let me know if you think different. I would really like to see the difference in battery life on the iPhone and on let's say a Huawei phone after two years of usage. So if you have some numbers for me, let me know. All in all, all of the phones are not doing bad to quickly charge up within one hour. Now Xiaomi really stepped up the game and Huawei is under the top fastest charging phones as always. I was really impressed by the Vivo which did a great job. And Apple has also finally stepped up the game with power delivery. But most of the Android phones are charging faster. Now guys I'm also working right now on the battery drain test so stay tuned for that. But it takes a lot of editing and it will take me some more time. And if you don't want to miss that, make sure to subscribe. As always guys, big big thanks for watching. I'm Steven from Tech Magnet and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.